everybody, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. A uh, topic for discussion that comes up quite regularly is, which shape of diamond should I choose for my intended engagement ring? Which shape of diamond is best? Well, there's no such thing as best. Uh, at, at the end of the day, it's gonna be a matter of personal preference. But there are considerations for you to take in mind when you're trying to decide what diamond shape uh, to choose. So by far the most popular shape of diamonds for engagement rings, at least here in the United States, is round. About 70% of all engagement rings in the United States feature a round center cut diamond. So round is popular, it's a classic style. Uh, of course, it's, it's been around for thousands of years, literally. Um, it is optically the most light returning shape that there is, so the physics of it are such that a round pound for pound will be the brightest stone. It's also the most expensive stone, and there are two reasons for that. Uh, one reason is, well, it's the best, so people charge more for it. And the other reason is it actually costs more to cut a round brilliant than to cut any other shape of diamond. Because if you can imagine when they're cutting that diamond shape, that classic rough diamond, they have to cut away more to make a round than any other shape. So in terms of raw materials, it costs more to make a round. And that's why a round is the most expensive shape. What if you're looking at a cushion cut? Well, one consideration of a cushion cut is crushed ice versus geometric faceting. Sometimes people conflate this with cushion modified brilliant versus cushion brilliant, which are kind of the two families of cushion cut. Many people will tell you cushion brilliant, which has that geometric faceting, is superior to cushion modified brilliant, and cushion brilliant does command a premium price over cushion modified brilliant. However, it is possible to find cushion modified brilliants with that geometric facet pattern. They're just hard to come by, so you have to do a lot of looking. Um, there are a lot of different ways to modify that classic Brilliant cut, and some of them are better than others. So when shopping for a cushion, you have to think about Cushion Brilliant versus Cushion Modified, and you also have to think about Square Cushion versus Rectangular Cushion, either of which can be correct. That's largely a matter of personal preference, but you have to kind of decide which look you're going for. Radiant cut. Uh, one concern for Radiant cut, again, is going to be Square versus Rectangular Radiant. Both are correct, both are, are commonly found in the market, and you have to decide which shape you like. Other than that, there aren't really too many special considerations for radiant cut. You just have to decide if the facet pattern suits you or not. A princess cut. Uh, one big con a concern when shopping for a princess cut is you really have to think about what your ring design is going to look like because those sharp corners on a princess, which of course is square in shape, those corners are beautiful and they're interesting but they're also quite vulnerable to chipping and to damaging your stone in the corners there. So you have to make sure that you choose a ring design that's gonna protect those corners, which unfortunately a lot of the time means it also hides them, so some of that beauty of the corner gets lost. So you have to either accept the risk that you're gonna chip your princess cut, which you will sooner or later, or you have to kind of protect it with a bunch of metal in the corners. So if you're not comfortable with either one of those, maybe that's not the right shape for you. If you're considering pear shape, marquee, or oval, there's an additional consideration to keep in mind. With both pear shape and marquee, there are still those sharp tips, so similarly to princess, you have to worry about chipping them. But on top of that, all three of these stones share the potential for another problem, which is the so-called bow tie or butterfly effect, where if the stone's not cut quite right, which is more common than not, you'll find a dark band across the middle of the stone that you'll see it move as you move the stone back and forth, kind of like a butterfly flapping its wings. We don't want to see darkness in the center of the stone, so that butterfly or bow tie effect is to be avoided if, if possible, or at least minimized. So, so far we've talked about all of the different brilliant cuts of diamonds, which is to say diamonds that have facets pointed in pretty much every direction, so you get that disco ball brilliant effect. The other category of diamonds are so-called step cut diamonds, which include emeralds and ashers. If you're looking at an emerald or an asher cut, there are different considerations than you have with brilliant cut diamonds. Emerald cuts and asher cuts, because all of the facets are parallel to each other, will create a more glassy, kind of less sparkly, but more, more uniformly bright look. And many people like that look, think it's very elegant. A downside to that facet pattern though is uh, the, any imperfections in the stone, any piques or crystals or feathers will be much more easy to spot in a step cut stone than there would have been in a brilliant cut stone. So you typically have to use a higher clarity when shopping for an emerald or asher cut than you would any of the brilliant cuts, rounds and cushions and princess and radiance, etc. 
So you have to you have to look at that. You also have to look at color a little bit differently. Because of the different step cut pattern, sometimes people see color more in those step cut stones than they do in brilliant cut stones. But your mileage may vary. Look at a few and see for yourself where your color tolerance is. So that in very short form is the the uh, cliff notes to what to look for based on what shape of diamond you're in the market for. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, feel free to ask me questions down there or on Facebook, on Reddit. You can email me, info at conciergediamonds.com or just pick up the phone and call me, 213-261-4330. Again, my name's Dan from Concierge Diamonds. Have a great day.